picked up with ratings indicating a bright future. Now, one sector that is taking a lion's share is journalism that currently has over 400 females in newsrooms across the country. To consolidate this achievement, close to 30 female journalists are undergoing training in Kampala. And the training is organized by World Association of Newspaper and News Publishers of Winifra. We have this story. Following successful implementation of the program in over 10 countries across Africa, World Association of Newspapers and News Publishers, WANIFRA, has set foot in Uganda with the aim of bettering women in media to aim higher and take up leadership roles. Launching the program was Norwegian Ambassador to Uganda, Susan A.K., as the key funders of the seven-month platform envisaged to enlighten women in newsrooms across Uganda. Female journalists suffer more risks and perils than their peers. Their stakes are often higher, roads are often longer, and their obstacles are harder. But just as journalists' role is to be the watchdogs and gatekeepers of society and to watch over us, it is our job to watch over and protect you too. Facilitating the opening ceremony, New Vision is editor-in-chief Barbara Kaija shared her first experiences as a manager in a newsroom, which she said was an uphill task. In this position, I know what I should have done, but then I didn't know what to do. Um, some of the things you'll get from this interaction with the women who are making it to leadership positions in the newsroom is that you learn how to discuss openly and to solve these problems. You don't have to talk about names, but I'm sure you find leadership challenges and you'll be able to talk about them and to come out with solutions. She however advised the team and other female journalists to always mind acquiring more academic certificates if they are to match their male counterparts. Margaret Sentamu of Uganda Media Women Association presented a paper on obstacles responsible for keeping women lower than they ought to be, calling for concerted efforts for total elimination. Abamu wa senior media women, tebaya mbakuwa na abamu wa abato, boleta mechikwata gana ku sexual harassment. Abamu wa nabali wa guru, beba facilitating sexual harassment to these young girls. We've seen so many women in the news, actually leaving the newsroom, going for communication jobs, going for advocacy, going for these other, you know, light, light jobs. And then, of course, also uh, not being put in those high positions, which actually demotivates them from staying in the newsroom. So we hope as time goes by, some of these issues in the media houses, they will actually be ironed out. Dr. Tihala Chibwana, Win Africa Program Director, revealed that women across Africa are slowly picking up, especially those who have already undergone the training. But what you find, uh, certainly from the nine, ten countries that we're working in Africa, is that a lot of women sometimes do not grab opportunities. Uh, sometimes uh, they feel they can't do the job even when they're actually recommended for the job. So I think the starting point is a, a mindset change. There is a saying that if the media gets it right, the community will. And with the fact that women remain the best storytellers, it is self-explanatory that the training will offer more than socialization. Dokas Kimono and Katonyanzi, UBC TV News. Now to matters pertaining to fighting graft.